thought you might want to have um, a look at the inside of the house that I'm working on so that when I'm showing you details of things I'm doing like tiling floors and papering and fitting trims or whatever it is I'm going to be doing and sharing with you 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 know where it is and why it's happening okay um, if we start at the basement we have the kitchen with two doors in it the one at the back will go to the stairs in the inner part of the house and the archway at the front goes into the servants hall which I have a dining table and so on for the servants and the door through from there into the next room will be a door not an archway and that goes into the housekeeper cook's room back again if we went back through that door at the back there we would go into an inner corridor and a set of stairs that would lead us up through the house and would come out at the back of the hall. The hall has three doors in it, the one at the back leading to the inner part of the house and the staircases and the passages that you need to get around the house. Always remembering this is the front slice of a Georgian house. All we're seeing are the rooms right at the very front of the house. You have to envisage at least another block of rooms identical to this behind this and then other outbuildings attached to that. So the house goes much further back. We're just seeing this front piece. So one door in the hall goes into the dining room and the other door goes into the parlour. Back again to the stairs and you would come up the stairs at the back inside the house and would come out on a landing at the top which would bring you through this back door here, this door at the back of the room, into the drawing room. There are two doors on that wall so that we're keeping um, symmetry, Georgian symmetry, all the time as much as possible. And the second door goes through to the smallest room probably in the house which is the library and that often did go off the drawing room because it was the room where you would take people and show them your books or your collections or have a private conversation with them. This, this is very much the public part of the house at the front. And above that there are three bedrooms which would have been family rooms uh, such as a nursery or bedrooms for lesser members of the family, younger members of the family. There were decidedly family rooms and not servants rooms in this kind of townhouse because they had generous dormer windows on them giving view and light which you were certainly not concerned about with servants' rooms. Servants' rooms would be behind these in what they would call the garrets. Uh, in my story, in my house, the three sisters who live here don't need these rooms, so they have given them over to the more important female servants in the house in hopes of keeping them. Uh, Mid-1800s, keeping a servant was a problem. They on average, they only stayed two to three years and they moved on to try and better themselves or get better circumstances. They had, they had the choice of work at that time. So anything you could do to keep your servants was a bonus. Okay, that's the house. You might notice it's got one coat of watered down emulsion all over it. This is so when I come to paper and paint, um, the MDF is pretty much sealed. You can do it with a primer, you can do it with an MDF sealer, but both are much more expensive than just taking an ordinary white emulsion. Preferably not too bright white, but it doesn't really matter. And thinning it down about one to three, one water, whatever, whatever you measure, use one of those with water and two of them with paint. And that'll be about the right consistency, but it's a commonsensical thing. It needs to be like thin cream, like single cream and not drag on your brush when you're putting it on and you just put one thin coat on just to seal everything. The inner walls in here at the moment are just in loose. They, ha they haven't been stuck in because they're going to come out soon so that I can tip the house on its side and finish painting the ceilings. So that's where I'm up to so far with the big part of the construction. <laughs>